Good everybody, this is Justin from the Ersine Coffee YouTube channel and Facebook page. As you can tell, I am thrilled. I just got the delivery of this Overland 6x6 and we will do a little comparison uh, between this new iteration, which is the tractor one, uh, and the standard truck here with the box at the back. All right, so first and foremost, the wheels. Obviously, this being a tractor, it has a dually setup. So you see the two wheels there. However, uh, what I do find uh, different is the compound of the actual tires. They feel on this uh, the tractor version a lot so a lot softer than they do uh, on the standard truck. And I also noticed a difference with those two wheels, which are installed at the back here, which feel a bit firmer. The front seems uh, very similar to uh, to the rear. This is good because uh, that was one of the concerns that I had for this guy. It's the it's traction and with really really um, um, uh, firm tires. Sometimes you don't get enough. Uh, obviously, you have the coupler there. I'm not sure, I do not know if the chassis of this iteration of the Overland has the holes, the mounting holes that are required in order to slide the coupler uh, forward and backwards, depending on the type of load you're, um, you are uh, pushing. But uh, let's have a quick look. I don't know if I'll be able to see it from there, but let's find out. And it I don't know if you'll be able to see uh, the railing. It doesn't. The, this iteration of the Overland does not have all the mounting holes, uh, which means that this uh, chassis has a special treatment in order to accommodate that. Something else, and that's an expensive difference, believe, difference, believe it or not, uh, there's an additional tank. So you have two, two tanks, uh, one on each side. You also have this little uh, platform here with the railing, which is something that you do not see here. What you do have there that you do not have here is a, a spare tire mounted on the belly um, of the truck. And this box here, this uh, toolbox, I believe it's a toolbox that's sitting right on top. You don't have it on this iteration. You also gain these um, mud flaps or mud guards. They're metals actually uh, at the back and at the front here which you do not have on the stock iteration, although it does have mud guards, uh, natural mud guards uh, made out of metal uh, that are sticking out of the uh, box there. Now, as I'm getting this truck, um, so it's wrapped in saran wrap. Ooh, and uh, as I'm taking the wrap uh, out of, actually I'm unwrapping rather the, the truck, I'm seeing a bit of paint here uh, that's kind of stuck on the saran wrap here, so yeah, you can see it there. So that's not ideal. We'll try to be very careful. I'll probably do that later on because that's a bit of a problem. But uh, overall, it's a very um, it's a very similar uh, construction architecture, I should say. Oh yes, this guy here comes with the RC4GS transmitter, whereas this one comes from uh, has this uh, Dumbo RC, which is actually good. Um, it's a Dumbo RC uh, transmitter. So a different transmitter, uh, not as high-end as the RC4GS, but a good one nonetheless. Um, so a little difference there. So very similar. Uh, it's simply a matter of option. You have, uh, you know, at the back of the dually there, you've got a metal rack on which your tires are sitting. So um, the quality feels good. I mean, there was one, uh, there's a, a nut that uh, came out rolling when I did the unboxing. You'll see that um, later on. But overall, it seems fine. Obviously, I have to, uh, you know, come through uh, the details. Um, oh, something else that I'm noticing. My glass here uh, is slightly popping out, actually, of the cab. So this will have to be reinstalled, the glass there. So these trucks, you really got to do a walk around and make sure that everything's, uh, you know, holding together before you start playing with them. It's really, really important. Um, so, uh, but overall, it, uh, you know, uh, hopefully, when once these quirks are discovered and, and fixed, uh, it'll be a very enjoyable experience. Um, I'll wait them to see uh, the difference between the two. Uh, but um, yeah, very happy uh, um, with the looks of it. But I just hope I don't find any more additional uh, blemishes, um, which can be an issue. So I bought this one from um, 1899, which is a, an AliExpress vendor. Um, overall, the communication has been there's been a, quite a bit of back and forth. Um, at the end of the day, uh, the communication was okay. Uh, it appears that I am missing 
a little Mercedes Benz emblem that I had ordered. So maybe I missed it. I'll definitely uh, follow up uh, and do kind of the general walk around to make sure that the truck is in uh, the condition that it's supposed to be uh, once I get it. Uh, so I'm already missing bolts and a couple things popping out and paint and scratches. But um, yeah, let's find out uh, what's left to be discovered. And hopefully there's not a whole lot. All right. Take care. See you at the next video.